Ooh, sorry, Lenny. Not in the church. Ah, uh, well, can everyone hear me in the back fine? Or do I need to shout a bit more? Ellery's in the back, can you hear me? Thank you. Say hi. Well, Alright, I appreciate everyone for showing mm, up. Uh, so, thank you everyone, brothers and sisters, welcome back to another Sunday sermon. Uh, I do excuse myself for last week missing sermon. Oh, well, we'll start today with a uh, prayer as always. Our Father, Lord in heaven, I'll be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. Our as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Heavenly Father, I would like you to bless you and each and every man. Each and every individual soul here today, as they have blessed us with your presence, listen to your word again. In your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so in this book today, we're gonna talk uh, a bit about uh, last week. I don't really have a story for this week, so we're just going to go based off of what we went off of last week. Now, last week we did talk about forgiveness. At the end, we, we talked about revenge and uh, how revenge can be an evil an evil thing for us if we hold on to it. As I told uh, in the last sermon, how those fellers that robbed me and my good feller when when we did the whole day of farming and they, they stole everything from us. And, you know, it... It did, I, I did want to revenge at the beginning, and it's like everyone, you probably want to seek revenge, and it, it does take a, a strong person to let go of revenge and start working on forgiveness, and, you know, forgiveness is, is not an easy thing, but it is a process of life, and, you know, once you, once you're able to let go of all that anger and that revenge feeling, and you start the, the process of healing, it will come a point in time when you will be able to start forgiving as well. Well, today, today's sermon is uh, just basically what we're going to be talking about today. It's, it's forgiveness. And, uh, a sermon is going to be letting go and the, the power the power that comes with forgiveness. Brothers and sisters, uh, I tell you, forgiveness is, is, it is one of the most powerful acts of love that we can perform. Might not seem like it, but it, it, it is a form of love. When 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 we when we forgive someone, uh, well, we realize from ourselves, uh, we 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 release from ourselves the burden of anger, and the hurt and the resentment that we were carrying. It's like uh, the hurting I was feeling when those fellers did take all my stuff from me at that at that time and for the few weeks to pass. But forgiveness, I'm not going to lie to you fellas and ladies in this church, forgiveness is not always easy. It takes a great deal of courage, strength, and commitment to be able to forgive and get to that point of forgiveness. Uh, I say to truly forgive someone, well, we, we must first acknowledge the pain that it has caused us. Well, whether that be... A physical pain, uh, you know, if, if if someone, if you're out hunting and have an accident and you get shot by mistake, or, you know, if you're at a standoff and uh, the person missed putting you down, uh, it's going to be painful. But we also must allow ourselves to feel the hurt and the anger that we carry. If, if you kind of just walk around aimlessly without understanding why you're upset or hurt or anger, uh, that's, that's not going to be good. We also must be willing to confront the person who has wronged us. Now, I, I say, confronting someone who has hurt us or anger us, or even wronged us, that, that's not always possible. Sometimes you might not ever see that person again. So, oh, I ask you, how are you going to move on from that instance? Those fellas that robbed me and my good fella, I haven't seen them since. I hear about them from people time to time, but I, I don't go looking. Uh, there's not so much I can do. 
And, and it, this can be a difficult and emotional process, but it is essential for moving forward. How I overcome that, uh, I just kind of just focus on my tasks I have ahead of me and not try to focus on my past. And, uh, I, I, so that's probably the best advice. It, it might not make a whole lot of sense right now, but because uh, uh, you got to take it for face value. We'll all get there at some point. And uh, if we're able to confront the person, once we have confronted that person who wronged us, we also must be willing to listen to their side of the story. Now, these fellers, they, they might have been down on their luck and they, they just needed a couple extra bucks in their pocket. And, you know, I can't fault them from that. People have to do what they have to do. I, I can't force people to choose to pass a racist, but at the same time, I, 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 will, I will listen to their side of the story. We also, we, we, we must seek to understand their perspectives and, and to emphasize with your struggles. So, you know, I, I've been down on my luck before and you know, I thought I had a gift from God presenting itself. So I, I tried to take the money out of that register the one day. And, you know, if, if I'm going to emphasize with these fellas, I got to turn my situation just the way I turn their situation and look at it from a standpoint where I, I, I have been a man with sin before. And, it's like those fellows were. But at the same time, I mean, it doesn't mean we excuse their behavior. But it does mean that we recognize their humanity and their capacity for growth and change. Uh, I mean, look at me. I, 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 was, I was probably a couple inches from mistakenly almost putting the one sheriff down. And, and, and look how much I've changed. I understand my wrongdoing. I've been focusing on change ever since that day. And, I, I can only hope and pray that the, the same way with those fellers that, that they, you know, maybe what they had taken from me is actually helped them become a better person at the end of the day. And, and, and fi finally, we also must be willing to let go. Uh, and this is, this is most definitely the hardest part of forgiveness is to let go. But we, we, we must, we must release our desires for revenge or retribution. And, we, and as, as difficult as it is, we have to choose to love our enemy. We must allow ourselves to be vulnerable and, and to trust God that God, will, that God will bring healing and restoration in our lives. Uh, if, if, if we can't trust in God to make it for us, I mean, uh, what, what's, what's the point? He, he, so he will protect us and, and at the end of it. And I mean, the Bible, you know, the Bible teaches us the power of forgiveness. It teaches us all about that power. A uh, quote that I'm reading here, Matthew 18, 21 to 22. Peter asked Jesus, Peter asked Jesus how many times he, for, he should forgive someone who has wronged him. And Jesus, Jesus says, I do not say, I do not say to you seven times. Well, 77 times. So right there, Jesus teaches us that forgiveness is not just a one-time event, but it's a continual choice that we make each day. Now, uh, uh, another example is, I, I, I know those, those fellows is just one example of someone that might have wronged me. And, and I, I imagine throughout the rest of my life, there, there's going to be multiple people that, that have wronged me as well, but... Uh, I have to choose a path of forgiveness if I want to stay on a path of righteousness. And it might just take me a while to to really open up and, and bring the love into my heart and soul to forgive. And forgiveness, as I said before, it is not easy. It may require us to let go of our pride and our desire for control. Uh, no, uh, letting go of our pride is also a very difficult thing, right? Eventually, we'll be able to see and let go of our pride. But when we choose forgiveness, we're also opening the door to healing and reconciliation. And we're also breaking the, the cycle of pain, and bitterness, and create a space for love and grace. And I, I, think, I think that ties in real nice with, with the revenge from, from a week ago sermon. And so, I, I'll leave everybody with this. Forgiveness, uh, forgiveness is a powerful act of love. 
It's a powerful act of love that requires courage. You gotta be courageous. A strength? Because only the strong can really understand how to forgive. A commitment. Because it's gonna take a lot of commitment and effort within yourself and to be ordered and to forgive. It requires us to acknowledge your pain and to confront the person who has wronged us if, if, if it's possible to confront them. And if not, then uh, you gotta just find out within yourself in order to let go and forgive. Also, to seek understanding and empathy. Uh, someone might just be in a worse off situation than you currently are, that's why they wronged her. Uh, they could be having a bad day and not really mean to take it out on you. And, uh, most importantly, we have to let go. It'll help us let go of our desire for revenge. So I say, let us choose forgiveness today. And try to choose it almost every day going forward. Trust in God's grace and the love to bring healing and restoration to our lives. And this I pray. Amen. 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 Cletus, do you have any you have a passage you would like to read today? Oh, I do, Father. Um, so I just want to first start off and say uh, I've done a few things more and wrong myself, and uh, I hope you know they will forgive me and for the past uh, things I've done. But uh, I'll finish off with two uh, verses: First uh, Colossians three thirteen. Uh, bear with each other, forgive one one another. If any of you has grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And uh, Luke six thirty seven. Uh, do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn. You will not, you will not uh, be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So, uh, forgiveness is very important. And for whatever you've done uh, in the past, um, just know that you, you may ask for forgiveness uh, from others and for yourself, uh, from the Lord above. So, uh, that's all I have. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I, before we close for our sermon today, as always, we do have our holy water and our communion bread. And we also have some goulash for any fellers that might have a little belly rumble because they're a bit hunger. And just, when we leave here today, I just want everyone to know that the actions you choose, regardless if they do seem right or wrong, we're only human at the end of the day. Don't try to struggle too much on maybe actions of sin that we might have chosen. If we do truly mean that we want to repent, the Lord will forgive us. And if the Lord can forgive us, we should be able to forgive each other.